Hello and welcome to How to Do the Web with Michelle Edhouse. Today I'm going to take you through what's required to create a manager on your YouTube channel. Now oftentimes uh, when as your channel starts to grow you want to add people that can help you to upload videos, perhaps moderate comments, respond to comments, uh, those sorts of things. So that's what you can do when you follow these steps and add a manager. So uh, first thing that we need to do is to go to YouTube and make sure we're logged in. Let's have, take a look. So here we are over on YouTube and uh, as you can see, I am currently logged in as myself. Now, this is not where I want to be because um, so I'm have gone to youtube.com forward slash account and if it's just your name here and it's not your brand account then you will just have information about you you know for personal stuff so what you need to do is go over to the top right hand corner <laughs> I think this camera is reversed so for me, it's up there, which I'm pointing left, but it's on my right-hand side. Top right-hand corner, where the little icon is of your face. Click on it and go to switch accounts. So when I switch accounts, you can see I'm the manager uh, on a whole heap of different ones over here. So what I want to do is go to the how to do the web page. And then... what? We stayed in youtube.com forward slash account and now you can see down below here we've got this section that says channel managers add or remove managers so just click on add or remove managers and it will take you into your brand account details so currently I don't have any users. I am the one and only here at How to Do the Web. And so um, what we do is we click on Manage Permissions under Users. And it opens up and asks me to prove that I am who I am. So, so we pop in the password and click Next. And this is just confirming that you are who you say you are and that yes you are oh look we need to confirm via my phone ding ding all these different things that they do to keep us safe and happy so let's uh yes that is me continue please hold caller <laughs> this may take a minute okay How does it get any better than this? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, da da. And we're back to the same place. <laughs> Manage permissions, here we go. So there we go. So we've got the how to do the web is the primary owner, that's the account. And then there's me, and I'm the owner of that. So up here on the top, right again of the little pop-up you'll see this multi-picture pe person with a little plus sign and it's invite new user so you go ahead and click on there and then you can add in uh, somebody who you would like to add as a new user and i'm going to add one just as an example here um, and choose a role for him now you can make them an owner that gives them complete access just like you have they can do everything they can add new managers they can do all the things that you can do then you've got manager and a manager they, they as the owner they can actually be the 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 account so that if they watch videos while they're logged in as being the manager for you then um your your thread of what they've been watching will start to show up so do you want that i don't know 
<laughs> manager is where they can upload videos they can comment they can um, limit well that was a loud motorbike um, they can they can comment they can moderate those sorts of things but including adding videos and the communications manager can only do the making comments and um, responding and moderating stuff they can't add videos so I'm going to make him a manager and send an invite now that's going to then show up here to say that I have invited him as a manager once he clicks on the link in the email um, then he will then be shown to be a manager in the system so and that's all you have to do at your end once they click the link in the email that they've just been sent they will then uh, have access so what does having access mean <laughs> let's get out of there and go back up into this little drop down now as you can see I am because I'm in my brand account details I don't have that change system that I used to have so I'm going to go back to YouTube I need to see what I've been watching um, and I'm going to change out from being in the how to do the web and let's go have a look at some of the other accounts all of these through here I'm the manager on, uh, I'm set as an owner on until you get down to this one down here and see how it says you are a manager okay so when I if I go into hers uh, I can't actually act as her I can upload videos I can do stuff like that but I cannot watch videos and on her behalf <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense and I cannot add additional managers to her account so um, she's she's the only one that's currently listed as an owner and that will then um, she has to go in and do this herself so uh, so when how do, how do you get into your own YouTube login um, literally if you are logged out um, it'll be the same login as if you uh, we're, we're, sign, we're logging into your Gmail so um, YouTube is owned by Google and you can access your YouTube your Google Drive your Gmail um, in fact let's um, where did my little darlings go Let's go to drive because I know it's in there. See this little nine dots? This shows you all the different apps that Google has. And you know, you've got your docs, your sheets, your Google Earth, you've got forms, you've got Hangouts, you've got Drive, Calendar, Translate, all of these things um, all come under the one email login. So what is that for you? I don't know. Hopefully you're keeping it secret from everybody and just for you. Um, but just if, if this is showing that you're not logged in, you need to log in as you and then change over to um, oops in YouTube, change over via the switch account into your business account, like how to do the web. And then once you're in there, then just go slash account on the URL of YouTube, press enter, and you get to see the add or remove managers piece. So I hope this has been helpful, and I hope this creates a lot more ease, joy, and glory in your business by allowing you to have managers. But you know the other cool thing is if those people stop working for you you literally just do the reverse you jump into add or remove managers 
go to manage position permissions maybe you have to click it twice and then you just click the X to remove them are you sure you want to revoke the invitation and if, if they had accepted the invitation and were already working for you and doing stuff on it it wouldn't say invitation it would say you want to re revoke their access um, and then you just click revoke and they will be gone and they will no longer be able to access it where so if you've got multiple people working for you you can have them all listed in there they all get to access it and then if one of them leaves you just take them off and you don't have to change your password but also the other thing guys is if you start handing out your Google password, they not only get access to your YouTube account, but they get access to all your drive files, they get access to all of your Gmail, they get access to all those other things, and they can be you. So if something malicious happens, some, if they decide to be mean, nasty, and horrible, which unfortunately there are people out there, they can act as if they are you. Doing it this way, they only have access to your brand account not to your personal stuff and you can dump them out at a second's notice so i hope this creates more ease and joy for you guys and what else is possible how does it get even better than this bye bye